I like turtles. Rolling, Are we so. ready to be back, ladies and gentlemen, hmm? for another episode of God Issues? What is this, episode 10? 10? No. Cease? Is it? Set, uh, it could be 9. I'm pretty sure it's uh, How episode 10. How can we never 10. figure this out before we go? <laughs> um, we always say we Because have. that takes effort. Uh, I'm fear, I feel like this is going to make us look really dumb. And unlike Deadpool, if not the shows are we don't do so. max effort. We do so. probably about this. Yeah, it is episode 10. Bam! Episode 10. Just Wait, winged it. I winged it. See okay. that? So winged. W winged. So we've been uh, <laughs> we've been absentee for the last couple Wednesdays, two Wednesdays, I think it was. Yes. So just See. really quickly before we get into the flesh of this this week's episode, we're gonna discuss a couple of number ones I thought were pretty cool that you should go get your hands on if you're bored and sick of reading about Wolverine and sixty different comics and if he's alive or not. Mm -hmm. That's analog if you can see it. Image Comics, I believe, number one. Pretty good. I think it's Gary Duggan who wrote it. Duggan? I'll just put, I'll I'll put, up, a, I'll put up a quick... Uh, that's Duggan. I think that's Duggan. I can't I'll put up a quick thing about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pretty cool, number one. If you like hard-boiled PIs doing weird stuff. That, well, actually, the, the world is pretty cool, but we're not going to get too much into it. Just pick it up based on whether you trust colored people or not. Uh, flavor was actually... Looks childish. It is childish, but it was really well done. Um, I think that's an image as well. So it's a childish flavor. Oh my god! Yeah, and this is this is the first, first comic in comic history to consult with a culinary consultant. Really? What? Yes. Interesting. That alone should be worth just to read to see what had happened. Yes, and so far it it's a fantasy world with a berserker sword, but she doesn't have a berserker sword. Either or, kind of cool. Good number one, and then the last one is uh, one of my favorite writers, Garth Ennis. Uh, obviously in a title that sounds very bad, A Walk Through Hell. And, uh... Sounds like he came to Petawawa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That'd be a saunter through hell. What? <laughs> ah, so those are pretty good books. Uh, the last one there is uh, Aftershock Comics. They're, they're, they're all right. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of Garth in his stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why he you like them, because he is a, one of your favorite writers. Yeah. Well, he's, I don't know, he hates everything, and I hate everything. Except for comics. That's fact. That's science writers. right there. All right. I do hate Washington, though. <laughs> What's up? Sure. That's, yeah. a, that's about I, a 50 50. I also love Riddick. <laughs> yeah. All right. Not, not Vin Diesel. Tim yeah. Roddick. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the correct pronunciation of your last name? Roddick. Roddick? All right, so what are what are the number ones today? Yeah, so this week we Starting got a, a brand new well, number Jesus, one. Travis, you can't see it. Another right number one by IDW. <laughs> it is TMNT Urban Legends. Urban Legends. Yeah, written by the dynamic duo uh, Gary Carlson and Frank Fosco. Who are somewhat urban legends. <laughs> yeah, which they're urban legends. So if you've been around uh, the TMNT pool for a little Little while. little while, you know, uh, way back while. when they did uh, volume three, which was only a 23 issue run. The grand yes, it got, was it got cut short. Yeah, it so. definitely got cut short. But yeah, these guys have worked together for a very long time. It wasn't just TMNT, uh, the volume three that they worked on, but they also started Megaton together. That was where they both made their start in comics. I never heard of Megaton. Before. Exactly, it didn't, mm -hmm. and that didn't even last too long in terms of a run. Uh, they also worked on um, Savage Dragon together. Uh, <laughs> yeah, everyone. That's Eric Larson who started. Savage yes, he Dragon, he, right? he started yeah. Savage Dragon. They did a small run for Savage Dragon. Yeah. Um, I can't remember the story arc for that one. Uh, I didn't really look too deep into that, but I knew that they wrote in surface Savage deep, Dragon. All you do is get to the surface. Nico. Exactly. Dig deep. Dig deep. You uh, got dig deep. Yeah, so just again, to, to touch up on what he's saying, so IDW decided over to, well, I can't, you know, I should have wrote down the writer, but someone apparently finished the series and it sparked like a lot of, uh... Controversy? Nah, like, uh, just everyone kept bringing up, I guess, volume three from the Image series there, the Turtles, uh, and how it got cut, and because early 90s, the Turtles were in like some weird transitioning, uh, because the cartoon series really dumbed down the comic version. Yes. Uh, and a lot of comic fans, I guess, weren't reading the Turtles. So when they took over, they brought it back to like Eastman and Laird's original content of 
pretty over the top, pretty violent. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, just, it just well, didn't more, do well. No, the 90, it was the more back to the Eastman style. Yeah. Like in, but it was a little more violent than Eastman. Like Eastman. No, even Eastman's is violent as hell. Like the number one turtles, they're beating the shit out of a bunch of gangbangers carrying Uzis and nine mils. Yeah, they, they went through a rebranding in order to get them. When they went to the movie series, they, when they went to the feature film, they went to well, a cartoon, cartoon yeah. first. Yeah, cartoon, so. but then they re, they rebranded to a fairy Archie family friend. There Comics. we go, right? And then when the, and those were the guys who introduced them with the colored bandanas and stuff. And the like non-violent that. and the, the more goofy. not non-violent. They were violent. It's just there's there's codes. There's a group of dumb human beings out there that think violence against robots is different than violence against humans. Which it's still violence. There might be dumb people who still think that's a different type of violence. But again, like if a robot has a human head and you put a bullet in it, you just put a <laughs> bullet through a head. So I don't see the difference. Yeah. You know, the, 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 I'll tell you this much, the people in Westworld don't see a difference either because they want to be treated like human Straight. AI thingamajiggies. So, that's fact. Yeah, so that's a little TV for you, Travis. That's some TV in a comic show. Yeah, yeah so, in a comic so, show for you, buddy. So the IDW got a lot of... Hidden turtle history. I guess enough to, for them to... To bring back, to bring, the, back. The, bring yeah. back the team to original team to finish yeah. off. So they're going to be reprinting the first twenty three issues in color, and mm -hmm. then they're teamed up to do another three more issues to kind of conclude volume three of the Turtles, uh, which I thought was kind of cool. Yeah, like cool. honestly, like great least, start. Yeah, at least you're not hiding a rehash storyline behind yes. something like <laughs> Civil War two. Yes. <gasps> Secret Wars twenty. Yeah. <laughs> so this yeah. this comic itself, the, like the comic itself, is good. I never, obviously, I never read any of the older stuff, but yeah. this comic itself Great is good. The newer it's style. Not, it's not my. It's not the turtles I grew up on because again, I grew up in the nineties when they were going on through that yeah. re rebranding. Did you realize that when you saw what happened to Raph's face? You're yeah. Like, oh, that's definitely not the turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this in the live action movie. Yeah. yeah. And uh, anyway, yeah, uh, Vanilla Ice was not in this issue. Yeah. Uh, so. It's it was strange to me. I didn't know what to do. I was, I was scared, scared for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> but it was... Um, Splinter, Splinter, very suicidal, very <laughs> gross. <laughs> but all in all, all in all, the characters are basically the, like, the personalities for the characters seem to be the same. Yeah, yeah. Um, Splinter's still doing his fatherly wisdom, trying to raise his kids, teach him life lessons. Yeah, I thought that was cool. Yeah. Whenever he was like, you might have problems fitting in the world, but remember, this is what you originally came from. Yeah, exactly. that was cool. So, so how much you've come from, like, from your beginnings yeah. to where you are now is great strides, and I love, Lo yeah, I love his wisdom as it was, always. It was, it's a good number one. It sets the mood for the series, shows the tight-knit group that they're in. Obviously, they've always been tight, but it yeah. you know, rehashes that out. Yes. And it Introduces a um, an antagonist for the series, all right, right out of the not, gate. Not all the way well, yet, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of the hero. So boss it's got a good. It, as for number one, it, it has that good arc that you like to see. It, it show it gives you the backstory and as well as where it's going. Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, it's a pretty balanced number one, <laughs> and definitely had a lot of suspense. Arc's near the pretty end. cool. Love the art. Yeah. So uh, overall, I think it's a solid turtle issue. Myself. Yeah, man. I give it a good turtle issue too, man. Better it's a, than the other comic we're It's four discuss. turtles out of <laughs> yeah, four <it> turtles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, four, yeah, four to five turtles. Four yeah. to five turtles, four yeah. to five shells. Yeah, four to five shells. <laughs> Half shells? Yeah. All right, so shall we move on to the second oh, we didn't one, ladies and gentlemen? We, did, we finished shouting. We did the artist and the... Yeah, yeah, we're good. yeah, yeah. yeah we did. Thanks, we thanks for finally for coming out, Travis. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. So Travis finally showing up Next. to this episode. And since we have random connections on a few of our issues, today's random connection is this is also a team of writer and artists that have been together for a while doing comics for a while. It's crazy. That's, so it, It's a like dynamic duo day yeah, on the Yeah, it's show, dynamic the, duo the day. Yes. Dynamic duo day. Yes. Exactly. So uh, this sort of. is another <laughs> comic from IDW, I believe, isn't it? Yep. IDW. Oh, yeah. and it's a double IDW. Yeah, wow. Um, science wow. A science fiction theme, a science fiction issue called... Expanse 13. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sorry, Delta 13. Delta 13. Yeah. I'm sorry, when it started with the belt. And yeah, belt. right. First page, it's like the belt. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, I know, I swear I, to that God, is watch. not the belt away. It's and and, and right in the time when the belt, when the expanse is hot in the news, yeah, so it's just yeah, like, yeah, I got like, the expanse. Wow, <laughs> yeah, so you should have started the comic with the belt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> which I guess isn't an expanse term. That's actually what they call what it. Even the belt. It's called no, belt. No, but belt. even the freaking crew in there. Okay. Yeah, the crew had some weird similarities. One. Black yeah, dude, three other dudes. Yeah. One guy was in the dark, so he could have been a brown guy. That's literally the Expanse crew right there. Yeah, but, uh, a little, about the, writers, a little bit the writers, a little bit the writers and the artists on this one. Who okay, yeah. So yeah, yeah, writer yeah. Steve Niles, uh, longtime writer. We got a birthday for him. He was 24th of June, 1965. Uh, 
Um, he's been writing for a bit. He's done a lot of work. Uh, 30 Days a Night would probably be his biggest title, which got taken to a movie. Movie adaptation. Yeah, um, yeah he does movies. He's worked with uh, Rob Zombie uh, on The Nail. It was a comic series. So he wrote the graphic with. novel, and then that was adapted into the movie? Yeah, I don't like the term graphic novel unless you're actually talking about a graphic novel. Yeah. Okay. What I thought, okay. 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 No, actually, he tried to ship from. If, if I didn't get this wrong, from my understanding, is he had that as a movie, like it was a screenplay, and then he tried to get it sent out. They denied it. They denied it, and then he takes his movie rejected list, and then he sends it out to comic companies, and they did it as a graphic novel. They picked it up as a. Oh wow! It's like you purposely want to get stabbed <laughs> on the show. Yeah, exactly. So they redid it as a comic, and then the success yeah. of the comic brought him the movie. Yeah, yeah, oddly enough. So it's it's this weird circle, but yeah, he ended up getting yeah. his movie in the run, so yeah. That's a did. lesson on persistence. Yeah, yeah no Don't kidding. Quit. Follow your heart, man. <laughs> so, yeah, Follow your right. heart. So, but yeah, the, uh, even video games, the guy's written on Spawn, he did Gotham City uh, County Line, I think it was Gotham County Line, which is weird. Holy jeez. Yeah, and then he, he wrote the, 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 the script for Fear 3, the video game. Wow. Uh, so yeah, he'd been in it to win it for a minute wow. now. So he's an so, experienced writer. Uh, he tends to write darker. Uh, he's genre. a horror horror no, writer. Horror mainly writer. mainly horror, right? Especially if you if you're teaming up with Rob Zombie, you're either into drugs or horror. Yeah. <laughs> so, or Why not both? Uh, Why sex, not drugs, both? rock and roll. But uh, yeah. he does. Yeah. And then the the artist himself, the artist has the artist been is fallen him drugs. around. He's, well, I don't want to say fallen. No, but they've been working. They, they've, they've had different works. Like he worked on a series called Sixty Eight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Actually, both of them are horror guys because '68, if I'm not mistaken, is zombies in Vietnam. Uh, um, so, anyways, but yeah, Nat Jones. I guess his biggest title would be Death Dealer. He's worked on The Crow, uh, Spawn, Dark Ages, Thirty Days a Night. He also did the Nail, the art for the Nail, which is the Rob Zombie comic that uh, Steve Niles. Worked so he did. Okay, he did yeah. the art for Thirty Days a Night. Yeah, I actually have. Well, that he, did, he did art for some of Thirty Days. Okay, a night. most of Thirty Days a Night was uh, Ben Temple Smith, I believe it was. Okay. okay, because I actually have that, and the art in that was actually really good. Because I bought it when the movie came out. They had this thing where you bought the DVD and the yeah, the, the, the yeah. Book well, there. the art style between the guy I just mentioned and and that is, is pretty similar. Yeah, so like so. that whole book was pretty. The art was really good. It was dark. I liked it. It was actually yeah. a really good book. I yeah. actually liked, liked it, and I understand yeah. why it did well as a movie. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, with Delta Thirteen, it kind of just missed a bunch of marks for me. Not, it was, it was almost like I felt like I read a bunch of pages with, like, really a crew with nothing happening, and then they ran into a bigger asteroid. It's like, okay. Well, the lake. It was super shallow. Uh, the character interactions were number one. The, yeah, yeah. The character, the, the, like, I don't, there's not a memorable, memorable character. I don't even show. know. How do you gamble on Scrabble? Is that even a thing? Can you gamble on Scrabble? That's I about think. the only memorable part from the comic that you're like think they're going to be going and playing poker. Why don't you just gamble yeah, on like yeah. a traditional gambling but, game? Why do you got to be so? But even then, like I get, I get that you want to establish characters and everything. They didn't though. Uh, no, they didn't. It was a lot <laughs> of one. bland, dry dialogue. Yeah, the black lady has a. A family, husband. A husband and kids. Yeah. So, I mean... So, and the husband might have been through some horrible shit because he has nightmares. And well, like, yeah, oh, he's probably stuff. a belter and they have nightmares. It's, 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 generic, it's generic, <laughs> mining sh generic mining ship yeah. in space number 32 finds a, a yeah. mysterious asteroid yeah. uh, that has more than meets the eye. So, yeah, yeah exactly. Although they flew into mysterious yeah. honeycomb. It had a honeycomb to it, so they flew inside of it. So, yeah. in regards to a unique storyline, not really. Um, yeah. Unique art, though. Unique art. The art's yeah, good. Unique-ish. Yes. Unique. I, I, I do like the artwork in yeah. it. Like uh, this, the ship looks good. They did the, yeah. the characters look pretty good. It's dark. You can tell it's going to be of a of a uh, darker, more uh, twisted. Oh, it's definitely going horror. Yeah. yeah. It so has, it smells like a horror movie, but horror movies continue after the first ten minutes. Like they don't just stop and then wait a month, which I don't think necessarily works. The biggest comics. thing you is the dialogue. Have X amount of hook. Well, yeah, and plus the dialogue definitely needs work, man. Like Why, it, it kind of like. Paper talking to paper. Yeah, it was pretty. Hello, yeah. cardboard. Yeah. Good afternoon, cardboard. <laughs> Which sucks because I am paper. Yeah. Huge. I I'm miss a huge you. science fiction. I miss fan. you too. But this That's is a great. But this is a mark that a lot of science fiction screws up on. They make it so generic, yeah. and, and, and and they feel like they're just it's cookie cutter. They're like, oh, we have a spaceship. They're very cookie. Like I said, but this shit like gave me flashbacks to the Expanse. And the yeah. hook, I felt like fucking the, this is getting canceled. The hook yeah. to this. <laughs> the, the hook to this. It probably will be. Don't get attached to the. Color. Hook to this was a metal wall. That's what it was. The hook was yeah, metal. Oh yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and not even just. And it's weird too because the way the artist and I'm not blaming the artist, but the way the artist draws is already kind of weird on the details. So, i.e., there's not many details. So when you see this fucking wall, it's all a lot on color with like this at artist. At first, you're like, yeah. is this a mistake? Did he just forget to color something? And then it's like, no, nope, this is that's yeah, the reveal. That's a giant fucking. Needless, uh, but who's to say that it can't? It won't get it. better in at issue two. No, of course that's the thing. Yeah, well, the but number as for ones is very dangerous. We've yeah, mentioned exactly. this a couple of times on the show. You could have a number one that's absolutely phenomenal. 
and then and the as soon as issue two so, which comes out, unfortunate like, has happened a couple of times. Like I'm, I, I don't know what you, uh, who was saying it. One of the ones we did already uh, has already turned kind of sour. One of the number ones we've issued it in the past. I think it was Spenny mentioning that one of the number ones that maybe we had done in the past has not turning out. Old Man Hawkeye. Old Man Hawkeye that, that, was sour to begin. Yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were. Mm. Yeah. It couldn't have been the crow that was sour to begin with. Yeah, I still think the crow is probably the worst one we've reviewed so far. Yeah, long. but this isn't. This is better than the crow well, because you liked it because it had all the religious stuff in it. Yeah, that's and, a biased and you're, opinion. And you're really messed up because <laughs> the only thing you like out of your own Bible is the violent parts, man. What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> it, was another, it was. A, it was. It wasn't a flashy story. We should have a bio on on Riddick here just so they know we're talking to a guy who's a man of the cloth. Yeah. And also a comic book artist. Yeah. Don't worry, people in the cloth have better conversation than cardboard people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but anyway, better, better than the than dialogue in this one. <laughs> I don't know if well, I don't know if they're going to get a big audience because a lot of people get hooked after the number one yeah. and want to buy the number two. After this, I don't think I'd want to go out and buy number two. Personally, I didn't want to buy number one. So but here we are. So <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's where we are. Yeah. Uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles this week is definitely uh, the superior comic. Yeah. Okay. Look, but I honestly, I wouldn't. <laughs> Buy it if you're a Turtles fan. And I'm not talking like cartoon Turtles fan. Like yes. Buy it if you're like, I want to see a more violent brand of Turtles. Yes. Buy it. Okay, because it's good. If you if you just kind of like, I like comics, um, no. Just buy Coda. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Coda's really good. Buy Coda or, or Breathless. Different. Yeah. Uh, again, well, Breathless, yeah. I, well, I don't know. I find Coda would be Well, if you want more of the campy yeah. turtles, the universe is definitely more of that campy, like... It's uh, fun. Yeah. It's an adventure. And well, even IDW's normal storyline is still kind of campy. Oh, well, yeah. It's not like it's pushing boundaries and violence. No, and like, uh, Eastman has definitely tamed it down from what it used to be. Mm -hmm. Like, but... And again, not saying that it was turbo violent to begin with. It just wasn't, let's go beat up Baxter's robots. Yeah. <laughs> it was, but yeah, <laughs> so regardless, yeah, this, so. The, the comics this week were, like... Turtles was good. I liked it. I'd never read a Turtles comic before, so I really enjoyed it. It felt like a more adult version. Like felt like something you could grow into as an adult. Yeah. But um, Delta Thirteen uh, kind of fell flat for me, <laughs> and uh, just made me miss watching the Expanse. I'm to think yeah. Uh, yeah. Man, I was going to go watch the Expanse. I, I know. I almost cried. And whatever. Tears. I yeah. It's well, I hope it's Amazon. It's, it's definitely. <laughs> I hope this everyone week. talking like that Amazon deal done anyways. Yeah, They're like, up. yeah, it's it's coming to Amazon. So. Now it might take a year or two. I don't know why it'll take you a year or two. Netflix, Amazon. So have But regardless, uh, I think that's it from us here at the... Is it? I feel like we should talk some more shit for some reason, though. Yeah, yeah. It's just because you're upset with that Delta 13 being basically expanded. I, I'm trying to think of some other number ones. But yeah, we're getting... we're getting The, the man of the cloth is telling us to cut it. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. He's, he's literally blowing our apocalypse horn today. <laughs> <laughs> Or is it ah, Armageddon? Yes. I guess that's Armageddon. Yeah, it would be an Armageddon. Ah, whatever. UPTA. Rapture. Yeah, it's we're Choose putting a rapture, this right, we're putting a rapture on this yeah, one. Yeah, we're putting a rapture. Yeah, we're putting a rapture on this that's one. That's a rapture. <laughs> All right. From us to you, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. And if you've read any of these number ones, let us know what you liked about them in the comments below or didn't like, probably didn't like. And uh, we'll catch you next week. Yeah, what the hype man said. Yeah. Yeah, catch you next time, guys.